What's going on guys? I am here in Edmonton, Alberta, visiting for a little work trip. I had a great time in Arizona, and since I'm prepping just under 16 weeks out, I have to stay on prep, and this is the second grocery haul of the week, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Things are starting to get a little bit tighter, the show's coming up really quick, and I have to make sure I'm on point, especially around the holidays. You wanna make sure you're on point. Lately, I've been making these crepes with Greek yogurt and fruit, if you get plain Greek yogurt, you can make stevia or like mio or something in them to add a little bit extra flavor for zero calories. And it's just all protein, zero fat, and the fruit just adds a lot more sweetness to it. If I need something quick, then I'll get the macaroni in. The macros aren't the best, but uh, sometimes time is a little bit low. Another great option is uh, cottage cheese. This one isn't 100% fat free but the macros are still really good on this. I do recommend taking this late at night because it has casein protein. It'll slowly digest when you sleep. Over here, pretty basic. I've got some more vegetables in the freezer, but I wanted to get a little bit more macros in. So this one's the rice and veggie mix. I also like making rice on the side. Lately, I've been eating a lot of sticky rice. Yes, I'm Asian, I love rice. We all know it's good. And then, um, we have salmon and shrimp, and I think later we'll be making up some peppers with that, and another basic staple in bodybuilding is potatoes. Pre-workout, I love to eat bananas. I feel like they fuel me um, really good, so I recommend having a meal an hour or two hours before your workout. But with that being said, I personally like eating 30 minutes before the workout. So play around with it, see what you like to do, and uh, see what works best for you. Since prep is coming, closer and I'm just under 16 weeks out, I like to eat with a lot more volume. That means foods that's really big, <laughs> food that food that is really big in size but low calories. So uh, good choices for that is salad. But make sure you're choosing a good salad dressing because a lot of those dressings have a lot of calories as well. So don't be fooled, make sure to read the labels. Get other high volume foods in. Uh, the veggies is a good option too. Micronutrient dense foods that are high in fiber are very satiating. They'll keep you fuller longer. So options like these here will help keep me full and then I'll be able to eat a lot of it. Um, staying fuller longer and... <laughs> Next over here, we got some eggs. I, when I make eggs, a lot of the time I like to just make the egg whites because the yolks have a lot of fat in them. Um, if you're in maintenance or you're not cutting too aggressively, eat the yolk. There's a lot of micronutrients in those as well. And of course, Jeff Nippers, my boy. So I had to get the Sun Gold Kiwis. I saw the Sun Gold Con, so I had to get them. And Superfood, they're good, AF. And I just like them, I just like them. Another quick and convenient source of protein is deli meats. I'll make a sandwich. Um, I can make, honestly, sometimes I get ratchet and I'll just literally just eat this out of the package. But, got that turkey, ham, and I think chicken breast kind of speaks for itself. Really good lean protein source. Um, also, if you spread out your protein throughout the day, minimum 20 grams per bolus of protein, it'll help you be satiated. I don't know why I paused so long. Like I said, we're gonna have shrimp and salmon later. Shrimp is very macro friendly as well. Um, just keeping it really clean. I guess everything's pretty macro friendly. You know what, I'm 16 weeks out, I gotta keep it clean, I gotta stay full, and the diet is starting to kick in now, so I wanna make sure I'm on point. I think I said that a million times already. And lastly, one of the treats for me is a protein pancake, and right now I can afford to put in a half a serving of Aunt Mama, my girl, you know, she got the hookup. I like to do half a serving of this protein powder. Sometimes I like to add banana. I don't know, I'll make a video on protein pancakes in the future. I think I already have one in my channel, so you guys can look it up in my channel, search bar, a little magnifying glass, look it up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm keeping it basic, I know it works. I am following macros but it is much better to follow a diet that is more micronutrient dense, it helps keep me satiated, and all the micronutrients will help fuel my resistance training session. So, I guess like this is my current physique. I just smashed the leg day. I got no pump, I'm feeling super flat and I'm starving, so I'm gonna put this away and eat. So thank you guys for checking out the video. If you guys aren't part of the team, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.